Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and with this run I just want to share some ideas with you guys and kind of and kind of get a bit of a barometer for what we're all thinking should come next. Now I already have a few ideas and some of those are not going to necessarily change but there were other ideas that were coming up that I would like to have a bit of a discussion with you guys about and we'll see where we're at on this whole crazy thing called my channel. So first things first, let's go ahead and get ourselves a build going. I'm just having a quick look over to see if there's anything I want to do as a build around. It's been a while since I really looked. I think I'm going to do a build around on Bolt Claymore. Now, there's not exactly a whole lot you can do to make a build around on Bolt Claymore. It's just a big, strong projectile attack, so... We're essentially just building for power at range. Oh no, I've never done that before! Dark Sage, are you just not very creative? No, it's just been a while since I've done a long-range power build. I've been really throwing myself at all sorts of other ideas, so I just kind of want to have some fun with this one. Leave me alone! And actually, I mean, it doesn't even necessarily have to be at range. We're going to take that. And with... And with this, we're also going to do some area denial. And... I kind of want to punch the shit out of people. There we go. Got ourselves a build. And since we are building for power, let's just take... And I am going completely minimal effort here, but I don't think anyone is going to complain about that. And since the soundtrack choice is up to me, we're just going with the classics. Again, sue me for not wanting to think very hard, especially since I have to work later, so... I'm just throwing up something that I think will be fun. And I can only hope that you guys agree with me. So while we are getting ourselves our retro floor plan, I will, first of all, say hello to the birds. Or I, I mention you and then you shut up. Gosh. But no, I just want to say I hope everyone is doing well on this beautiful morning. Well, afternoon, since it is... Well, afternoon. Is that where that term comes from? But yeah, this is... This is just a quick and easy build to give you guys an idea as to what's coming up next. As I had brought up before, I did not get enough build suggestions to make an entire viewer appreciation week. That having been said, if you want to throw build suggestions my way, then by all means do so. And one of the things I had speculated while I was doing my last couple of Wizard of Legend 1 videos is that perhaps the reason why I didn't get a lot of suggestions is because there's not a whole lot special about me taking viewer suggestions since I do that all the time. But that doesn't mean that I don't want your suggestions. As a matter of fact, I would say, hey, if you have any suggestions, even if they are just, you know, theory craft builds that you don't use yourself, throw them my way and I'll see what I can do. Turns out that Quantum Edge build that Sheep put out there was a theory craft, and that was actually pretty fun. So again, if you guys just have some ideas that you want to throw together, by all means, send them my way. I'm happy to give them a test drive. All right, well, Bolt Claymore is kind of feeling like the odd one out right now. Yeah! It's kind of cathartic just to punch the crap out of people. Yeah. 
So here's kind of where my kind of where my head is at as far as what comes next for what I'm doing. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll forward with the with what I'm calling the standard Arcana Spotlight series, but I am not doing all of them. That would just be, that would just take way too long, and especially since Wizard of Legend Two is now out, it kind of feels like it would be a uh, like, like that would just be taking time away from from offering feedback on that game in its early access. So we will not be doing we will not be doing every single Arcana. What I am going to do is focusing on a few Arcana that I just that I think are really fun and effective that don't get a lot of a lot of love and attention. What do we got over there? Well, I mean, I see no reason not to take that. And... I don't know if I want to make it a full week of those or how I want to do that yet, so this is where you guys come into play. I would like you to share with me what you think would be most effective for doing that Spotlight series. But my initial plan is I will essentially run it like... Like, I'll choose one from each element on my own, and then I want you guys to give me a standard arcana to make a build around for, and I'll see how that works out as part of the whole... You know, build spotlight thing. Also, these are all kind of... You know what? I'll grab that. Oh, now I'll grab that. But the idea being, I want to continue to put out content that you guys find to be interesting. And I think spotlighting some of these standard arcana that don't get a lot of love would be a good idea. Now, let's... I want you guys to make it to be absolutely sure that we have some rules set forward for this one. And what I mean by that is we should not be doing... We should not be doing standard arcana spotlights for spells that are also signatures, since we've, of course, done that already. And that brings me to my next point. It's like, hey, Dark Sage, where the hell is where the hell is the rest of the signature arcana tier list? I apologize, I've been getting caught up in taking care of all sorts of other business. But no, I definitely still have every intention of finishing that. I actually have the... See, I have the part that needs to be recorded for the wind, for the wind list, but I might need to re-record the voiceover a little bit. Because obviously I was doing, I was working on that before Wizard of Legend 2 came out in early access. And I just kind of had my whole groove thrown off a little bit. Got some fun things here. I don't think I want Dragon Arc. I definitely want that upgraded. And do I take the hammer? Hammer is a pretty good power staple, but the question is, does I want it?
So don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the signature Arcana tier list. I've just been... been busy with life. Not, en not enough so to, you know, not work on any recordings, but enough so to... Dis enough, yeah, enough so to distract me from the project I was working on, so apologies. Let's grab that. Ooh, okay, so we want that. I want that. Now let's go get the Bolt Claymore upgrade. And then, what do I pick up? A hammer. Or... I think I go with the Lotus Frost Stone, actually. Beating these two is going to take a minute, so bear with me. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'll grab it for, as a temporary holdover. But there are other things that I would prefer to have. As for why I haven't started doing build videos on Wizard of Legend 2 yet, which no no one asked me about, this is just me speaking off the cuff, I have not unlocked everything in Wizard of Legend 2 yet. I'm kind of taking that game a little slowly, mostly because I know the game is still in early access, so I don't... I want to refrain from getting too harsh about that one. I would like to give that game some time to cook before I start going making just full home, full on build videos for it. Yes, give me this. Uh, I don't think I see anything here I want. a little bit extra. That's all. Just, just a little bit extra. Just a little bit bird. You know, but you guys, for, you guys forgot about them, didn't you? 
Probably not, since they're really loud in the background right now, but... And again, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna speak too harshly about a bird being a bird. That would just be silly. Ow. Uh, we definitely want that. Um... I think anything else can just kind of wait. Okay, can you go away now? So, as far as the build is concerned, the build is fine. I keep forgetting that I should be treating... I should be treating Binary Splashdown as a combo starter, not a combo linker. have a have a strong bias for or against using civil services but at the same time I don't exactly have a ton else to spend cash on right now yeah well it's not gonna hurt anything to have a bit more damage and a bit more armor I'd like to point out this isn't necessarily a build spotlight on on Bolt Claymore. I bring up Bolt Claymore because it's just plain fun. You know, if we weren't going into the fire area, I would take Flame Fusion. That's almost exactly what I want for this sort of build that I'm focusing on. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna buy it anyway. And I will... Yeah, fuck it, I'll just use it over... Over that, who cares? Who cares? Hello, what's over here? It's the boss room! Oh my goodness! The obvious strength of Bolt Claymore being that you can use it to uh, just snipe people down. And it's it's very high damaging and being able to set it off whenever you want has a, lung, has a lot of perks. You can even just let it hit someone in the face. They don't exactly have a lot of choice but to eat that damage. I mean, unless they dodge it, but... Who does that in a game like this? Dodging attacks. Pfft, get real.
That was not supposed to go in that direction. I'm, I'm miffed. And I had a perfect finish and I just had to go for, you know, silver medal. <laughs> Help. But yeah, but you still won. What are you complaining about? I'm complaining that my victory could have been cooler, okay? Hey, let, let me have my undeserved tears. Punch. There, that's better. Oh, hi. Do you have anything I want? Kind of. I'm not sure I should take it, like I'm strong enough. I don't know, I'll consider that one. I know myself though, and the moment I pick it up I'm gonna start feeling super overconfident, and then I'm gonna run into a room where I get curb stomped by a bunch of guys who are just mad that they got parking tickets that way. Like, it's all fun in games until you run into the angry mob. Oh, look at this guy trying to sneak up on me. Dirty bastard. Alright, well, I found every dead end. Like trying to find your way around the big city, all you all you're gonna run into is dead ends and that and dead ends and horrible things. Okay, I'm feeling really silly about that one. I just took a bunch of bad damage because I was just like, eh, I'm just gonna knock his lights out. What's good? what could the possum problem? What could the possum? Did I really just say that? Man. Dark Sage is losing his mind. He's talking about possums on video. Is this really the right time to be talking about possums? I mean, that seems a little odd, doesn't it? How do you even possibly know about possums? That just seems that just seems like a cruel joke. Oh, yes. Feel the power. The power in my hands. All right, let's get rid of you. I don't need you. All right, and with this, I've got better cooldowns and better signature rate. So I will take... Ugh, the temptation is so strong. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. You know, I complain about the negative effect of Double Trouble, but the idea that I can wipe out enemies without them really getting to do anything is pretty nice.
Like, it almost feels like I just don't need... don't need my basic anymore. I mean, that's a lie, of course. You should really be taking your basic into account when doing anything in this game. Beautiful. Alright, and... Call it weird, but I actually don't think I want... Okay, I'm not gonna trade anything to you, sorry buddy. I don't think I want the upgrade for Earth Knuckles. I think I like it just the way it is, with the old 1-2. Let's snipe these guys down. Perfect. All right, not bad. Let's let's just roll with this. Mercenary's Dagger. Hey, if we didn't have enough power before, we certainly do now. Alright, very transformative for the run. I love it. Alright, remember, we do have double trouble, so we need to respect Zeal's move list here. Alright, that could have been worse. I'm not really planning on using it, but there it is. Okay, a little crossover jump action there. Yeah, it's exactly what I meant to have happen. Ow. Alright, everything is going exactly according to plan. Yes! Beautiful. And, I'll, and funnily enough, I didn't even use Bolt Claymore during that. Oh well. 
But I would say it still worked out quite nicely. So, take a, moment to, take a minute to think about what I had proposed earlier on in the video. And I'd also like to ask, are there any new games out there that you're really interested in seeing me check out? Because there are a few things that caught my attention to make a first impressions video on. But what do you guys think? What's been catching your attention lately? Obviously, give me a comment. Let me know. A huge thank you to you guys for coming and spending your free time here with me today. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and you take care, everybody. <laughs>